This video from the National Geographic will clearly show us the process of recycling used bottle into polyester yarn. But first, in the UK we throw away billions of plastic bottles every year. We're getting much better at recycling them, but did you know that they can also be turned into clothing? This amazing process starts here at the Bottle Recycling Center. The first stage is shredding. When you throw away your bottle, you often leave a small amount of drink inside. Shredding all the bottles releases the unwanted liquid so it doesn't affect the quality of the plastic. The shredded bottles are then wrapped in cellophane and boxed up ready to be shipped around the world. It may be rubbish to us, but to the Chinese textile industry, this plastic waste is a valuable commodity. Recycled bottles arrive from all over the world to feed the busy clothing industry. Sorting separates the clear plastic from the colored stuff. Clear plastic can be made into white clothes or material that can be dyed, so it's extremely valuable. Most clear plastic bottles have colored lids and stickers on them. But these have got to go, so the bottles head for the baths. The coloured caps are made of a different plastic which floats. A worker can then strain them off the top. Then there's a separate bath for the stickers, but the workers have to be careful around this one. It's corrosive caustic soda, very bad for the skin, but very good for removing labels. After all their swimming, what's left is a pile of clear plastic shreds. But it's rather wet. The next step is the ovens, where it's mixed with some light-coloured plastics. To produce white cloth, you need some light-shaded material in the mix. The plastic will spend about 10 hours here in these rotating drums, slowly drying out. These workers have to manoeuvre their cart back and forth underneath the drums to catch the plastic as it falls out. But they've also got to mind their heads on all the other spinning ovens. So we've got our plastic bottles broken down and mixed to produce the right colours. But it's very hard to weave cloth from bits and pieces, so another step is needed. The mixture is sent through this rotating screw where it's heated to 270 degrees Celsius. This melts the plastic, but to make cloth we don't want a big lump, we need thread. The liquid plastic is forced through a sieve and emerges on the other side as great long strings, which are collected in the container below. We've now got thread, but it isn't strong enough to make cloth yet. First it must be combined and stretched several times while being heated. This will bond the fibres together. Now, it's taken ages to produce this material, but the next part of the process is to tear it apart again. The fluff that emerges is the raw substance you need to make polyester. However, that takes place in another factory altogether, so the workers here bail it up and send it on. It looks like cotton wool, but it's an entirely man-made substance, created from your old bottles. This machine scrapes it all onto a very rough cloth, which is loaded here, ready to be carded. Carding is where the bonded fibers are brushed together so they all lie in a similar direction, which strengthens the material. The sheet of polyester felt that emerges is now ready to be turned into thread. These machines will tease it out. They spin off mile after mile of pure polyester, which is collected on these bobbins. And finally, we reach the point where your old plastic bottles become cloth. Like a spider at the center of its web, the loom draws in thousands of threads and weaves a new sheet of polyester. To give it a smoother feel, there are still two more processes to go through. The first is very delicate. This machine creates tiny loops on its surface. The second stage is the opposite. Using a series of tough steel brushes, these spinning rollers catch and tear all the carefully made loops. The shredded surface helps give the material a soft, furry feel, making it far more comfortable to the touch. So we've turned our recycled bottles into polyester at last. Now it's time to make some clothes. Using a roll of material, stylists mark out the latest designs, being as economical as they can with their handy template. 
Although they're profiting from your rubbish, they don't want to create any more waste. The pieces will then be sent to workers who turn your trash into the trendiest gear you can find on the high street. So what started out as your rubbish was carefully sorted, then shredded, and turned into cloth. That cloth was shredded into fluff, spun into thread, and turned into fashion, from plastic bottles to polyester clothing. 